Hello Leo, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. Uh, we're going to look at what's going on in the connection and how you feel about each other. What's going on for Leo's in love? Oh, not good. Has not been good for Leo's with the Ace of Coin reverse. Now your previous reading was really good, so I'm hoping that this one is the same. We get a good reading for my Leo's chariot cancer energy there. It's like someone has made a choice to move forward. They've chosen a path, but the choice hasn't just been made. Someone's actually traveling that path with the chariot. What's going on for Leo's in love? Wow, the Two of Cups. Beautiful. So many type of connection. Ace of Cups, Reverse, Page of Wands, Reverse. Interesting. So I feel like a lot of you are dealing... Oh, why is the Seven of Swords Reverse? I feel like this is someone that you um, have a lot of... Um, a very strong connection with, with the Two of Cups. But it hasn't gone well. Like for some reason, for the Leos that I'm talking to today, it has not gone the way that you thought. Or it hasn't happened at all. Like, this hasn't really moved forward at all. It's just been heartbreak and disappointment. Now, with the Five of Coins reverse, it's almost like there's a recovery here or someone wanting to recover something. Why is the Five of Coin reverse? Come back in out of the cold. Oh my God, Five of Wands. Okay, drama. Hold on, I dropped my card. And I don't know if this was upright or reverse because it fell face down. So I'm just going to put it set. Three of Cups. No. <laughs> Please don't let this be a Three of Cups reading. I think it might be though. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Yikes. This has not gone well, Leo. Whatever this is with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Ace of Coin reverse. Five of Coin. There has been a loss. Things haven't worked out the way that you thought. Once again, that's the message I'm getting here. It's only been drama and conflict and possibly too many people involved. Tell me about the chariot. Why, what is going on? Okay, 10 of ones fall down like this. Tell me about the chariot. The Hierophant. Okay, so this has something to do with a commitment. Yes, a family situation even. Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, Ten of Wands. Two tens. This is a, um, a cycle completing, culmination here. Happy ending, commitment, Taurus energy, and obligations, burdens. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, High Priestess. I feel like someone's trying to move towards their happy ending, yet they're leaving or making this journey with some sort of baggage or burden. It's like they've they've loaded the car up. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing here. This could be a commitment that is a burden or fam familial obligations. So a path has been chosen. What's going on with this Two of Cups? Yeah, this has been disappointing. Um, maybe you're missing your person with the Five of Cups. Heartbreak, disappointment, regrets. And I feel like it's like you've been waiting for justice, for things to be fair to you, for things to be balanced. Maybe you're just waiting for someone to make a final decision here, Leo, and it just hasn't come. Yeah, this is someone that has not been able to commit to you or has not been able to complete a task or a goal or an objective. This is someone that maybe when it comes time to make final decisions, they're nowhere to be found. Tell me more about this connection. 
for Leo. Tell me more about this connection. For Leo, please. Tell me more about this connection. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Tell me more for Leo's. What's going on here? There's a commitment involved here is what I'm picking up. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and I want to take this one too. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. That's that two of cups and calling to have faith. I feel like you are you have faith in this connection despite everything that's happening. All right, so let's see. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about you? I'm using my new Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is my first physical deck and it's out now. So check it out. It's linked down below. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Leo? What are their secret thoughts or feelings when it comes to Leo? I'm taking action. You make me happy. Interesting. I'm afraid. Bottom of the deck. So I'm taking action, but I'm afraid. Well, which is it? Which is it? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Leo? Tell me more. Tell me more about how they're thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo. Tell me more about how they're thinking or feeling about Leo. I'm not liking this energy. The chariot, again, you could be dealing with a cancer. Someone with cancer in their chart. And there we have the heartbreak again with judgment. Strength reverse. There's that. I'm afraid. And there you are, Leo. Queen of Wands reverse. I don't feel like this is someone that... I feel like they're not taking the right amount of... Act, like the right action. We'll see. Because judgment is here. So it could be that they want a second chance. They're thinking about the past with regret. Maybe they were juggling you with someone else and it caused a lot of heartbreak. I feel like this person's having a realization, the hermit at the bottom. I feel like this person's having a realization here about this, how they messed up. Why is the page of cups reversed? And I feel like they blame themselves here. Emperor energy here and the empress. It's almost like they know that this is a very special connection and they blew it. Aries energy with the Emperor. I feel like all they've done is disappoint you and they know it. Like when they think about you, they think about how special you are. You are their divine counterpart. You make them very happy. So they know this, but at the same time, they've screwed up here. And all they're thinking about is regrets, missing you. Um, and really evaluating the past and how they've screwed up. I was going to say something else, but I'm going to try to keep this, uh, PG. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. What the hell is this? Seven of Wands. I feel like you're defending yourself against this person. You're defending yourself against this person. You don't believe this person. A lot of you question everything this person says or does or I don't know. I'm just getting the sense of you like blocking this person, maybe refusing to talk to them or hear them any longer. Like you don't even care what they, yeah, you don't trust them. Seven of Swords. You don't trust this person. So when they come to you, because they're planning to come see you with the chariot. They're, they're either planning to come see you or travel to you, something like that. When they come to you and tell you, I don't want things to be over or something like that, like you're not going to trust them. 
So what are their next actions going to be? What are their next actions going to be? Towards Leo. What is this person's next actions going to be, Spirit? What are their next actions going to be, Spirit? The next action is going to be towards Leo. Oh, why is the Ten of Cups reverse? And the Queen of Wands reverse. Again, it's like the, whatever action they're taking, it's going to be the wrong one. The Queen of Wands reverse, they don't think about the consequences of their actions. They just think about what they they want or need. Yeah, I don't feel like this is going to be a happy ending here. I feel like their actions are going to cause some sort of a loss here. They feel this is there's unfinished business. It's almost like they think that they could still make this better, but it's not going to even start. Like they're not going to be able to even start this cycle. Yeah, they really want a new beginning, but again, there's no commitment, there's poor planning, and there's a cycle that's not closed. So how can you have a new beginning? I just don't see it. Maybe they're going to try anyway. Why is this Queen of Wands reverse? This could also be you being absolutely like livid. Like you don't, you don't even want to hear what this person has to say. This is about the decision. Whatever decision or choice or path they've chosen here or want to take, yeah, this is about a decision to leave a situation or a decision to come see you. I feel like this is a situation they're making without thinking about the outcome here. Yeah, all they're thinking about is I need to get something done. I need to get things done. I need to take action. But they're not thinking further than that. Why is this Ten of Cups reverse? Now this is regarding their next actions. Yeah, judgment. their judgment is blocked. Or they're not going to be able to have that rebirth. They've had a change of heart. They've changed their mind, but it might be too late. I feel like this is you with the Queen of Pentacles. Like, you are good. And I feel like this King of Wands is looking at this Queen of Pentacles. Like, I really like that. I would like to have that. <laughs> It could also be a third person here because I have two queens and a king on the board. What's this king of wands going to do? Break a commitment? What's this king of wands going to do? Yeah. This, this King of Wands is going to break up a commitment or it's going to cause a separation of some sort. Could be with you, could be outside of you. This is because of love or this could be the Queen they're leaving. Queen of Cups, Hierophant, Reverse Taurus Energy. This King of Wands, they want to break a situation up or um, leave a partnership or something like that. Again, with the Hermit Reverse, this is someone that's not thinking very well. It's almost like they're thinking with their emotions, but not their logic. You know, this is someone that the Queen of Wands Reverse, King of Wands, um, the Queen of Wands Reverse tends to just jump in and they don't care who they hurt or who they piss off or what happens. You know, they even are um could break up um happy connections or happy friendships like they don't care they just want what they want and i feel like this is someone who when they're thinking of this path that they're going to take or this choice they're thinking like this queen of wands and not this queen of wands reverse and not this queen of wands upright oops I'm messing with my cards so I just don't feel like this, and, and you know, that makes sense because there's nothing working out here. I have an Ace of Pentacles reverse, world reverse, full reverse. 
This is something that is very poorly planned. Um, resources are not available. Cycles haven't been closed cleanly, etc., etc., etc. So I feel like your person's fighting an uphill battle here. Now, um, feel free to let me know down in the comments, Leo, if you would even give this person the time of day because I feel like you, a lot of you won't. I feel like maybe there's too much that has happened or it's too little too late. Um, but I do feel like some of you, you might at least hear this person out because of the connection that you have with them, the feelings that you have with them um, or for them. Um, but I feel like most of you, you know, this person just kind of like they realized what they did a little too late or this isn't good enough. Whatever they're bringing you is not good enough. I feel like they might even tell you whatever they need to tell you to get you to listen to them. Yeah, I feel like this is not going to be good enough. They're scared. That's why they're going to be telling you all that stuff. They're afraid of your reaction. And so I feel like they're going to just, you know, it's like, yes, I was wrong. You called me a dog. That was me. Or you called me a liar. You were right or whatever. You know, like they're going to tell you something to at least get you to listen to them. Because in their mind, this is the only, only way they can bring control over a situation. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, thank you so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for all of your support. I read all of your comments, even though I can't respond to all of them. So thank you um, for sharing your stories with me and for coming back to the channel and watching my readings. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you're all doing very well. All right, Leo, take care.